Hey rock stars, Lid Shaw, and I'm actually coming to you from Winter Nam 2018. I'm standing here, or sitting here actually, really, really, we're kind of like hunched over to get in this shot. But I'm here with Stefan from Celimony, and um, I'm really excited because, as you may know, I am a long, long time Melodyne user. Good. And I love Melodyne, and it's what I've been using for my vocals for years and years. So it's really exciting to me to actually meet somebody who's making this incredible product. And uh, Stefan has been kind enough to uh, give us a little demonstration of what's coming and what's new in Melodyne. So I'll let you introduce yourself. Stefan, say hello and tell us who you are. Hello, I'm Stefan Lindler from Salomone, based in Munich, Germany. And we're here at, at, at NAM like every year. And this year we have uh, nice news that we show something new here. And my part is not only to demonstrate it, I'm back home, I'm also part of the guys who design the software. I'm not a, pro I'm not a programmer myself, but I'm, uh, I'm a user too, and um, so I'm glad to show it to you. Yeah, well, um, I think I was saying to you earlier, Stefan, that to me, Melodyne has always been magic, right, in the studio, and it, it was when it first appeared in the very first demo I ever saw, which was like, you guys took a trumpet and you just stretched it out. and it yeah, just I remember forever. that one, yeah. And it was like, I, I was just blown away. So I immediately started learning how to use it, and I've been using it for all of my vocal tuning and other cool tricks that it'll do. Sure. But um, that's my primary favorite thing to use it in. Uh, but let's jump in and we'll uh, we'll kind of check out some new stuff. Okay. What, we what are you going to show us today? Uh, we're having an, um, the next Bellaline version here still in beta. It will be ready when it's ready. You never know when you're beta testing something. And it's the um, it's a smaller update uh, with a minor things here and there, like additional shortcuts or so. But it's big news for Logic users because, okay. as you know, at the beginning of NAMM show, Apple released their next update, 10.4, right. and this with our new version will give you audio random access (ARA), which okay. means if you use it in Logic, it's the workflow is much faster now. Okay, cool. I, I've no, got logic. Yeah, that's good then. Then I, I I will show you. All right, Groovy. We'll take a look. And we're up to Melodyne 4 right now. So it's Melodyne 4. Okay, right? Currently, it's Melodyne 4.1. It's the existing version. If you use that with the new Apple version 10.4, you, you work as before. You have this transfer button and everything. Okay. And once our 4.2 comes out in a few weeks' times, this transfer button will be gone. Okay, groovy. And what this means, I will show you now. All right, great. Let's jump in, rock stars. I'm going to get behind the camera and I'll shoot uh, Stefan showing us what's up. Cool. So here, here we look at the new Logic version and let's work on the lead vocal because vocals what everybody does in Melodyne. So I'll, I'll show you how it works with the vocal. If you open Melodyne, it basically looks as before. You have all the, the Melodyne magic of... Uh, correcting the tuning or timing of the singer. Let's quickly have a listen here. So whenever there's something that might be disturbing, you go in there, like here for example, she's kind of um, floating around a little bit insecure until she hits. It's a nice voice though, a lot of emotion to it. But spots here and there are missing the, the, the amount of perfection I would want to have, at least in this genre. Okay, all right. So as, as you know, we have different tools for it and I would correct this vocal like here, maybe here to give her more stability. Let's listen back. She plays, she plays, she read. So this is fine now. And what's new now in, in, in Logic is the integration because I can, uh, for example, I control the the transport of Logic from within Melodyne. Like when I double click in the time ruler, it starts the whole song, it all tracks. She plays, she plays, she her head. And if I start from double clicking here, I'll solo the vocal. She plays. So no need to go into the logic mixer or so. So this is a little speeding up of, of workflow and it's especially interesting if you have more vocal tracks at the same time in logic, which we don't have here, so let's get them in there. For example, this lead vocal we, we did in, in the chorus, this part here, we did three dub vocals and uh, there's no Melodyne on the dub vocal yet. So let's select them all, call up the mixer 
as a logic user, you know how this works. And then in the first slot of all three channels, you insert the new Melodyne ARA. What we call ARA is the audio random access. And it does some, some magic now, because now the plugin window opens up. It's empty yet. And as a logic user, you would look for the transfer button now to get the audio material into Melodyne, which takes some time. And it's not needed anymore, because you just hit play once immediately stop and you see there are the, the additional three tracks they are here top number one two three and I can call it up on the screen uh, in this example it was set to a different algorithm per default which we don't want for vocals so I select them all choose a selection of any of the nodes convert it to the melodic algorithm and there you go. This is an extra step I did now because this machine was set up differently. So here are all the vocals now and if I control it from here... I hear the whole playback and then if I record it from here, I could decide which one I want to use. Like this is the lead vocal. Let's switch to the backing vocal. It's coming out of this speaker here because it's set up in the, in the, in the mixer like this. I could also listen at them all together. These are just the, the three dub vocals together. And now I do something with the lead vocal. I call it up, but as a gray reference, which means I, I can't touch it accidentally because say I edited it so far that I'm happy with it and I'm, I now want to uh, make the, the, the dub vocals fit to it. So I would probably start by working on the first dub and I immediately see that uh, let me zoom in a little bit. There are some differences here, like here the notes are not together, so I splice it up and then I grab the, this first word on the backing vocal was lower than the other. So let me quickly go in there. There's another similar thing. Here the vocal started too high. So what I'm doing here, I'm editing the dub vocal and make it align to the um, lead vocal in terms of tuning and I would do the same thing in terms of timing of course uh, which now in this display because it's in unison it's a dark vocal it's hard to see so we build in a, a button to the very right corner there I just split it up visually so I can see any timing differences in this example this is a pretty good dub vocal not too many places I, I would want to um, and it, this one here, for example, is uh, starting late, so I call up the, the pitch tool. I just did it here now. Uh, I, I could do it, as you know, by, by switching tools here, but I can also do it with uh, key commands. Um, a lot of new key commands in, in the new uh, Melodyne version that's coming, so this will speed up your workflow. And as you can see, I can now align the, the second vocal to match perfectly the first vocal. I did it here, do it again. I can do it to as, as maximum perfection as I want, depending on the genre, I would, would probably, if it was a boy band kind of stuff, I would do it really perfect, and if it's a some different genre, I would be a little bit more loose. It's all in my hands, it's not the machine that does it, it's, it's you who does it. And this, for example, would be a, another spot. There I would correct it. Like this, so this lines up perfectly. Now I can listen to it and... Okay, that's fine for me, let's say. I, I could even shorten it or whatever. Don't want to get too picky here. Um, so, I will end up when I have, in this example, it's only three dub vocals, but say you have 10 or, or whatever. Uh, this will be really time consuming. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to save time now, because you can actually, on the left here with these orange buttons, and the, while you hit Command key, you bring them all on the, on the screen. And then you can uh, say select these two that needs to be edited and you can again do it manually or you call up this menu here which is the quantization but I, of course I don't want to quantize it to 8s or 60s or whatever. I want to quantize it to a different track and, and specifically the lead vocal track. So I said the lead vocal is by master and the two ones I selected they should go into this direction. Sometimes they move like, you know it, like, like MIDI quantization, they move to the wrong place. Uh, it's always worth checking it out. 
you can of course select them. These are two tracks now running to different channels in the mixer and, and you can do it like this too. So a lot of workflow speed in Logic. But the, the, the most important thing maybe is that you don't need to wait for the transfer anymore. You're much quicker there, you can focus on, on the music you're doing. Stefan, thanks so much for doing the video with us. It was fun, really thank awesome you. to have you on Recording Studio Rockstars. It's so good that we got to know each other personally now. It's yes, nice. indeed. Yes, indeed. And Rockstars, thanks for watching this. We're going to do some follow-up stuff later. We'll do some real screenshot from the studio demonstrations, good. I think, where you can really learn how powerful Melodyne is. I know I personally am really excited to get into the newest features of Melodyne. Very nice. Stefan, let the Rockstars know how they can find you guys online. What if they want to go check out Melodyne now? Uh, this, this new version is currently in beta test, so you can go on our website, ceremony.com and you can download the existing version. If you have it already, of course you don't need to download it and you will find information there when this version will be ready. Might be still a few weeks from here. You never know when you're beta testing because when we find a bug, we're going to fix it. We don't let you test it for us. Um, if you don't have Melodyne yet, go to ceremony.com load the demo version. It's a full Melodyne Studio which runs without limitation for 30 days. So cool. I love so Melodyne So you can check it out and, and also look for our videos we have, uh, training videos we have uh, on our website. So ceremony.com is the place to go or you find Ceremony on Facebook. Uh, and um, yeah, All right, write cool. to us to get in touch. Right on Rockstars, go check it out. Go get a demo of Melodyne yourself and check it out for the first time if you need to. Or check out the new stuff. Thanks for being here with us. It was a pleasure, thank you. Please remember Rockstars, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to like, share and subscribe. And drop a comment in below and let us know you know, what you need in your studio and how Melodyne you think you could help you out, whether you're tuning vocals or freaking your drums out or... You can do a lot of things apart from vocal, believe a me. A lot of things. So it's a very, very deep product, very deep tool. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the studio. Okay, bye. Cheers.